Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add an image to a news post. We're here on the home page of our HR team site. We look at the news section and we have three news posts. And we see that this one, the Undoing Racism Training, doesn't have an image. But these two do. Now, this one is actually a news link, so that's why we have that image. But the new employee handbook, if we go ahead and click there, we see that we have this image. Now, this image has been manually added to this page. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit here so you can kind of see the whole thing. I actually uploaded this image from my computer. Now, when we come here and look at the Undoing Racism training, when we click on that, we see that we don't have an image, but we have this sort of background to our headline. Now, there's two ways we can add a picture. We can change this background, and that will show up on the home page, or we can get rid of this background and add our own image like I did on the new employee handbook. Let's take a look at both. First thing we need to do, though, is go over here and click on the Edit button so that we can edit this post. Once we've done that, we come over here and we see that we have this little gray toolbar and the middle icon is change image. We're going to click there and it automatically opens up to recent images. These are images that I've used recently. I don't want any of those. I can go to web search and it takes me to a Bing search for these kinds of images. I can go to my OneDrive. I can click at the site assets and other places in the document libraries of our site. I can upload my own image or I can add an image from a link. What I'm going to do is go to the web search and click on backgrounds. And I am going to choose one of the background images that's in here. I have to find the one that I want. That's the one. I'm going to click there. And click open. Now, you see that the image is there, but I have this big yellow circle, which tells me to drag to set a focal point. So you see, as I move this around, up and down, I can change which part of the image I'm seeing. And if I go ahead and publish that, we see that that's what the page looks like now. And if we go back to the home page, we see that that image is there now. Now, let's go ahead and let's edit that again. And we want to add that separate image like I had on the new employee handbook. Now, the first thing we have to do is get rid of this image. Because if we don't, we're going to have both of these images here. And that's not what we want. So I have to go back down to reset to default image. I have to do this. Because remember, when this was here, I didn't see an image on the home page at all. So I have to go back to this because if I don't, it's always going to show me that new background that I selected, no matter what additional pictures I have added. Now, there's one more thing I have to do to complete this. I have to go here to the edit web part. I'm going to click there. And you see I have the title area. I'm going to change from image and title. That's this background image and simply click on plain. Now, you may say to yourself, well, why couldn't I have just done that with that other image? Trust me, it would still be there on the home page. So we have to get rid of it. Now we're going to manually add the image that we want. And to do that, we need to get our mouse in here in between my text box and my title area, my headline. And you see that blue circle with the big white crosshair in it. I'm going to click on that and this will allow me to add an image web part. I'm going to click there. And once again, it opens up to recent images, which I don't want. I can go to web search. I can click on the site assets, but I'm going to upload. It opened up to my saved pictures folder, and this is the picture I want, diversity. I'm going to select that and click on add image. And it will add that image there. Now, notice that I have this, this yellow warning here. Let's click on it again. Suggested alt text. Right now, the alt text that came with this image is a group of people around each other. 
I can leave it like that. You see, I have the keep option or I can change it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to click on change. It opened up this image properties panel and I'm going to come down here and it says a group of people around each other. I'm going to simply add in the word diverse, a diverse group of people around each other. So now I have alt text for that image. I'm going to go ahead and click to close it. I'm going to publish. Now we can see what the page looks like with that manually added picture. And if we go to our home page, take a look at it again, and now we see that image that we added. So now you know how to add an image to a news post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.